Hey everybody, LEGO Master here, and today I'm going to give you a set review on the LEGO Minecraft 2021 B Farm, so let's dive into it. Alright, this set comes with 11 characters, and that is quite a few characters uh, for a Minecraft set. But most of these characters are the 8 bees that come in this set. We got 4 angry bees, 4 friendly bees. And while this was the debut of Lego Bees in Minecraft, um, it, they have been made since. When the bee farm retired recently, um, they had already put in a new bee-related set, which is the new bee house. Next, we have a baby sheep. This is just a regular, normal, white baby sheep. Uh, and he makes a fun addition to the set. Then we have our skin, which is the beekeeper skin, and to make him look more bee-like, uh, they gave him elytra wings from the end. And he also has a golden shovel as an accessory. He's very bee-themed. And finally, we have the classic normal plains villager, unemployed. Uh, he comes in the set probably as like a farming assistant, like you can do in Minecraft. Alright, as for detachable blocks, we have two bee nests, uh, two honeycombs, and a campfire. Why is a campfire in the set? Because campfires are what you put under beehives uh, so that they can give you honey easier. Alright, moving on to the set itself, uh, this is the set. And it's got two trees, which is saying something for the uh, LEGO Minecraft sets of today which have significantly uh, lost the amount of trees that they used to have um, back in the first few years of sets. Uh, this oak tree has a beehive uh, that a bee can actually go into. So the bee goes in like that. And then the top of the oak tree can actually come off uh, giving another bee some area to go in. That way it seems like they're just coming out of the beehive. Uh, okay, so then we have this, there's like this little farm here with some wheat, some flowers. There are some random flowers throughout the set as well. And another one of the friendly bees can be pollinating the flowers. So that's why there's that clear uh, tube right there. And then you have this thing which uh, basically is for the angry bees and they go on just like that and that way when they're making their angry rampage they can swarm around like this uh, by using this gear that just turns really nicely and it turns this whole mechanism around and most of the mechanism is held up by clear rods that go into this place so that all the bees look like they're actually flying and then you'll notice that there are quite a few jumper tiles here uh, for other things to go on to, like the bee nest, which just can go on like that. And the honeycombs can just either go on separately or anywhere. Um, the campfire can go down somewhere. Uh, and one of the bees can go on top of the bee nest. You can have the villager assisting the beekeeper, and that is our bee farm. So that is pretty much the set. Uh, it is really nice, uh, really fun, really compact. And not to mention that there are a lot of places that they can connect to other sets. Uh, even various heights. Like, you have this height with the farm, you have this height with the one block, and you even have this height with the two blocks. So, it is very durable, uh, it's very, uh, flexible with other, uh, Minecraft sets as far as connecting them to your world goes. For my world, I like to place it right here between the pig house, the abandoned mine, the illager raid, and the creeper ambush. So it looks really nice, especially in my world, where there's a lot of green, and this just makes a brilliant centerpiece. Uh, it is it is a nice $20 set. Sadly, now the set is retired, but it just retired recently, so I'm guessing if you still want it, you could probably get a good deal. 
Alright, that's it for this set review. Uh, please like and subscribe. More set reviews will come soon. Uh, the next one is going to be the Rabbit Ranch from uh, Winter 2022. And I've also got some pretty good stuff coming for my MOC world. But for now, stay tuned and I'll see you next time.